it makes one force in Bangladesh. And when the radicalist and the liberalist comes together, they makes one particular force. Uh, you know, that internal dynamics you can understand if you are in that country and you are focusing your study. I try to understand Bangladesh psyche, Bangladesh uh, internal political dynamics, and I found that whenever the Awami League comes in power, Awami League constitutes the liberal and realist forces, comes in power, India and, Bangla India and Bangladesh develops very good relation. When the radicalist they, uh, they constitute that uh, the, the BNP, the realist and the radicalist comes in power, India and Bangladesh doesn't enjoy good relations. So what is my point that India's policy objective is that they should understand the neighboring countries first and then they should make the policy uh, towards that. So what is... Uh, what are the approaches in fact? India in the policy perspective had been adopted by uh, and uh, adopted by the uh, by the policy perspective. What is the broader objectives of India? Broader objective of India is to become the Asian power and superpower and all that. That can be possible if India India takes lead to uh, uh, like uh, in, uh, India. Dip, uh, uh, is in position to resolve the uh, conflicts within the region by its own. It's, it doesn't have uh, dependencies on extra regional power that will I will discuss later on. So that without enduring primacy in one's own neighborhood, no one can become credible power in the region or global wherever. So India has to become has to develop the confidence among these uh, these these neighboring countries. What are the approaches? In fact. Uh, there are bilateral and multilateral approaches. India tried to, uh, initially India was more focusing about the bilateral approach, dealing Bangladesh and India bilaterally, India Sri Lanka bilaterally, India uh, Nepal bilaterally. Now recently India in keeping in the sense of the economic development and keeping the extra regional powers presence, India has started focusing on multilateral approach in fact. Multilateral approach in the sense of connectivity it has included Bhutan and Nepal in the in that in that, uh, th that context. And in fact India has talked in the on what, what Robert Putnam has talked about the about the single uh, uh, single level or double level or package deal in, in fact. So India is trying to okay you give the connectivity we'll give the Tista water. You give us uh, see this kind of package deals approach has been uh, has become new phenomena in 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 uh, in, in India's uh, policy perspective recent years. But what is there are confusions also in India's policy. Uh, if you are looking, th I am giving three in three different different examples that in one sense. India herself advocated to uh, to uh, advocated for the observer status to China, Japan, and America in the SARC. India wants their uh, they, they 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 should become the observer in the SARC. Second, India often looks towards the superpowers when question of cross border terrorism arises. This gives a sense to the member countries that the engagement with the extra regional powers. Uh, can help them uh, help them against India's hegemony as well. So that makes neighboring countries also that ex extra regional powers can balance counterbalance the India's hegemony in the region. And third, India uh, uh, third, third uh, uh, the extent uh, extent of difference uh, difference in India's influence could also be assessed in the case of Nepal and Sri Lanka accounting the role of extra regional powers in the peace process had been. Uh, in, in, in the case of Sri Lanka, Norwegian mediation has been accepted and in case of Nepal also the peace process. So extra, in fact it is, uh, India itself is contradicting in three different different parts that the, India itself is, is entertaining regional, uh, extra regional powers to resolve the conflicts. That has, India has to come out from this, uh, this mindset, this policy perspective in, in, in this. If you look the dimensions of the policy perspective of India over the years, first thing before uh, before uh, during the Cold War, it was basically more driven by the Cold War politics, the South Asian politics, and all that. But after the Cold War, India has, in fact, post Cold War era, India has uh, has made a shift in the policy perspective. First example was the Gujral Doctrine has talked on the non reciprocity of the relationship, and this Gujral Doctrine has been, become a successful example when we resolved the issue of Ganges water and Mahakali river water uh, problem with Nepal and and Bangladesh in fact. So that was the first approach. Second approach the Shamsaran and uh, from the Shamsaran and Manmohan Singh uh, government has talked about the 
uh, generosity towards the neighboring countries or giving the leverage of economic development so that you can have convince uh, you can convince them uh, them that india is an opportunity not a threat for instance that india has given the duty free access to the bangladeshi goods and given 1 billion dollar of the aid and assistance to uh, bangladesh for infrastructure development over there so this kind of approach uh, uh, has been started this was second step and third step that what i talked about that india has also thinking in the sense of earlier india was not willing to go multilateral and and package deal now india is talking multilateral and package deal the recent manmohan singh visit has to bangladesh and, uh, and has, has has proved this thing what are there are the complexities in the relationship in fact uh, what, what are the complexities uh, co complexities in 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 the in this uh, execution of this policy in fact the first thing is that the coalition politics what professor sangeeta was talking the coalition politics and the national interest or i can say the federalism and the national interest what uh, professor nalapat was talking yesterday that india in fact is is not is not clear about this that what it should give the priority to the national interest or it give to priority to mamta banerji not to sign the tista deal and let the uh, north eastern people suffer uh, suffer from the connectivity and not to uh, not to uh, uh, go with the U the un resolutions and and what what actually yesterday talking the china had made its good presence uh, in 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 sri lanka that uh, is talks that india promises to the neighbor and china delivers to the neighbor that is the policy uh, had, had uh, the perception in the neighboring countries has been developed so that contradiction india should be clear about the national interest and india should give the priority not the coalition politics not the federal politics rather than the national interest so that you can be very clear about the, your policy objectives towards the neighboring countries and second complexity is the 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 the, uh, the bureaucracy was his public diplomacy i have been in the neighboring countries i have seen that the uh, that uh, that uh, the embassies in the neighboring countries are are basically uh, are the office of the tughlaq badshahs that nobody can reach to the embassies you have to go for visa uh, for the visa and all that that perception has to changed by the uh, by the diplomats that they should develop the indian constituency like the liberal democratic forces in neighboring countries like the uh, like the pro indian forces in neighboring countries you can develop you because the mindset of the young people in the neighboring countries is changing in fact and india india's uh, establishment in the neighboring countries should yeah i'm just winding up uh, should uh, Uh, should take this opportunity because young young generations wants to go to bangalore for the uh, to learn the it in neighboring countries i am talking they want to come for education to india they want to go to abroad and indian diplomatic setup in the neighboring countries should take this opportunity no, should not bureaucratize the national interest of the nation that can bring the confidence among the neighboring countries that can bring political stability in the neighboring countries that can bring Uh, make the south asia as